Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2016 Subaru Forester. This particular Forester is the premium trim. It uh, gives you some uh, extras on the inside and some nice features that we'll go over as we uh, go around the car. Uh, also would like to point out while we're up front here, this is a Forester with the EyeSight package. It's a game changer for a lot of people. You can see the two cameras and sensors uh, that are up there that make up that uh, the sensor suite for that package. Starting off up front here, you can see you have a chrome grill surround with the Subaru logo in the middle there. You do have your fog lights inlaid into the lower set of the bumper, or lower part of the bumper. It is a uh, Yokohama Geolander tire. Uh, looks to be about half tread there, mounted up on an alloy rim. It's a, uh, probably a 17 or 18 inch alloy rim there, 17 inch. Uh, continuing back to the side, Subaru does run this uh, black molding back most of the sides of their uh, Foresters here. Uh, it does help with keeping the chips and uh, damage to a minimum on the lower section of the car, especially when rocks and things like that get thrown up off the road. Here in the back, you do have all your Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive Forester and uh, partial zero emission vehicle uh, badging. Of course, Subaru does have the only uh, symmetrical all-wheel drive standard among the major automakers. Uh, it comes from their boxer engine design. allows the all-wheel drive system to sit centered in the vehicle which uh, lends itself to the longevity that Subaru is known for. Here on the inside, you do have your power windows, uh, mirrors, and uh, locks there in a standard fashion on the door. The driver's seat is a power seat, uh, both the base and the back. The base can go up, down, tilt, as well as go forward and backwards. The lumbar adjustment is adjustable in and out, and then obviously the back tilts forward and backwards. Before we step inside, it's a lot easier to show from this angle. It does have a uh, panoramic sunroof here, or a double sunroof, double pane, whatever you want to call that. Um, it is the larger sunroof for these cars. Pretty cool looking there. We'll fire it up real quick. Before we do that, I'd like to point out that it does have two keys. Every car we sell here at All Things Automotive does have two keys. It's about a $200 value between the key and the program on this car. Pretty low miles for a 16, does have 28,560 miles on it right now. Uh, the two orange lights that you see illuminated are the option to turn your lane keep assist and your uh, forward collision warning on and off. And for your eyesight, if you happen to be on a road where the lines are, uh, where you're going over the lines regularly for one reason or another and the car's beeping at you, you can turn the eyesight features off up here. Um, both the link keep assist and the collision warning can be turned off from up there. Coming down low here, you can see that you do have the navigation system. Looks like it needs to run through its configuration here. Have a nice trip. Drive carefully. Trying to get to the, there we go. I uh, just needed to say that it was English for some reason it wanted to run through setup. Um, but as you can see there, you got a nice map uh, navigation system. These seats are a uh, gray cloth, but they are also the uh, premium cloth heated seats from Subaru. Um, coming over here onto the wheel, all of your uh, volume audio controls and your Bluetooth to accept and decline or hang up on calls is over here. Menu stuff down here. And then over here is one of my favorite features with the EyeSight uh, and driver assistance suite of uh, driver assistance suite. It is the adaptive cruise control. So if you're not familiar with how that works, I really encourage you to come in and drive one of the cars we have on the lot with it. I believe we have probably about four right now, four or five. Um, so how it works is you set a maximum cruising speed um, and then you set a following distance to the next car. So say you're on uh, a highway that the speed's 70 or 75 miles an hour. Uh, you, so you set your speed to 75 miles an hour and then you set a following distance uh, on Subarus, it's like low, medium, high. There's three different, three different settings. And if you come up on a car doing 60, it will slow you down and hold that following distance. If that guy uh, can't drive and then speeds up to 80, it will run up to your maximum and go no faster than that. So it'll go to 75 miles an hour. If he slows back down, it'll slow you back down. Uh, so it's conceivable to go through a whole highway trip without ever having to touch the brake or the gas. It's a pretty cool feature. I really love it personally. Um, in a lot of the vehicles that I've driven. Uh, over here, do have your owner's manual, but the thing that I'd like to point out is the multi-point inspection and RO that we put in with every vehicle, the results of our used car check, and the measurements of all the wearables on the car. So, uh, looking over here, see that we've checked all of the uh, 
operation of a lot of the factory stuff, check the windshield wipers, uh, in-cab and air filters, stuff like that. Did change the engine oil with 0W20 and put a new engine air filter in there. You can see that in the comments. Coming over here, all the tires are 732, uh, which is just more than triple the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania standard of two. And coming down to the bottom here, the brakes also uh, measured 10 bonded in the front and eight bonded in the back, which is once again, more than triple the Pennsylvania state minimum. And we did a brake service where we took the calipers apart, cleaned everything up, lubed everything up and put it all back together so that the brakes uh, move where they should uh, and aren't dirty and locked up and things like that. So you can find that in the glove compartment of any car that you look at here at All Things Automotive. Turn the car off here. Now I'm just gonna do a quick walk around on the car here and show any uh, possible defects or damage that I noticed. Um, one thing I did see right off the bat on the door is there's a little dent here um, that was not pulled. Uh, we do have a paintless dent repair uh, service that we will probably have pulled out by the time you see this car again. Um, if you do come to look at it, uh, but it is there now, but it shouldn't be. Um, coming around the front, don't really see anything major here. There's a couple little chips and things like that in the hood, um, but really small. See one right there, little guy right there. The wheels look pretty good. That's another spot that we usually like to check out. Um, they've not been all curved up or hit anything like that. Uh, there is a little spot there where there's some touch-up that didn't perfectly match. A um, little touch-up there. Come back the car. Everything looks pretty good on this side. I don't see any dings, dents, or scratches. Back looks good. A lot of times you'll see this get all scratched up. It is not in this case. Uh, that's always nice to see. And coming back around, like I said, just that uh, dent right here. And we will write that up to have that taken out of the car so it shouldn't be here if you come to look at, look at it. If you'd like to come out and take this car for a test drive or check out the uh, lane keep assist or maybe the adaptive cruise control that I talked about, you can stop out and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg. Keep uh, checking out our other inventory online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope it was informative.